How's it going today? I'm going to be introducing the future of Web3 and what we call A5D. The team has been working really, really hard for introducing this to the world. Very, very excited about it. But before we get into the dynamics of how everything works for A5D, I'm going to be talking about what exists today. You guys are very, very accustomed to using these single sign-on systems which is basically Facebook, Google, Microsoft, etc. when you log in on other websites. Uh, if I download a mobile application, just like you, for the most part, I don't really want to sign in with a new username and a new password. I just want to get right to the new application. So if I see Facebook, if I see Google, any of these here, I'm going to choose those to get into the application and get right to the, desk, the first screen, the dashboard. Now, the problem with using these SSO, single sign-on options, they are all what's called centralized. That means all of your data is stored on their server. Everything that you do to shop, everything you do for medicine, anything that you're putting information into on a website is being stored on this centralized database of said company, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Google. Even though it's free, my saying is nothing costs nothing. You're paying for your data. That's what it's costing you in the back end, right? Now, problems with these centralized authorities, let's say Instagram, for instance, decided they wanted to shut down your account today. You have 10 million followers. That's someone's livelihood. Most influencers today using TikTok or other companies, you know, all of their money is encompassed into all of their followers because they're promoting to all of these people, the thousands or millions of people. So if you're making five, ten, hundred thousand dollars a month, if they decide to suspend or shut down your account, all of your money is gone. And that's very, very scary. But what if there were an alternative? What is the polar opposite of being centralized? You've probably heard the word, if you're in Web3, crypto, or blockchain, you hear the word decentralized. AFID, what we've created, is a decentralized login system that's gonna work universally to automate decisions on the internet and also in the real world. And all of your information on FID is stored on IPFS. That's the interplanetary file system. That means people at home, like me and you, are running machines that is storing the data encrypted, meaning they cannot see your data the same way that Facebook and other companies can see it. They're just storing the information within the network on a node. They're running a node. They're running a machine at their house. And now the data stays within the people and not within a central authority. But it's very, very important that you understand that this information is encrypted. Because I would rather have one big company storing my information than millions of people around the world if they could see it. But because it's encrypted, they cannot see the actual data. They don't have access to it. The only person that has access to it is you because you sign in with your A5D using a mnemonic phrase or a password to get into your account. And we use military-grade encryption as well. And in an AFID ecosystem, we have digital bot workers that are called A clones. We're very, very accustomed to trading time for money, uh, going to a job, you know, you put in eight hours, five days a week, you rinse and repeat. But this is a very 1960s way of uh, earning money because if you get sick or you run out of PTO, uh, your money stops. So what AFID has invented is the A clone it allows you to have digital versions of yourself that will work on the internet on your behalf. So now you're leveraging your time. It's like having 30 versions of yourself working at once. And it's not limited to 30. That's just a ballpark number of how many versions of you can work on the internet. So what a user will do is they'll go into the AFI ecosystem. They will create these bots in the, in the ecosystem. You go into the marketplace. You can choose the bots that you want. And depending on the subscription plan that you have, you can operate however many bots you want at once. And in your FID, 
all of those bots will be managed by you as the robot controller. We call you a controller. So you'll be able to preset certain actions for these bots. And when you go on the internet with your FID, you'll be able to connect to those third party websites to automate automatic food ordering or passwords or entering certain credit cards. So think of this as having a Swiss army knife of bots in your repository. You basically have a book bag full of bots that you can use and the system is gonna automatically detect which bot is compatible with the action that you wanna automate on that website. Like me, I like Louisiana chicken pasta from Cheesecake Factory. So I'll go into my AFID account. I'll preset that as one of my favorite things I like at that particular restaurant. And when I go to that restaurant, it shows my bot number one in this example would be compatible to highlight green and it'll say, uh, do you want to order the Louisiana chicken pasta? Because I've already preset it to be something I order all the time. So it's going to save people a lot of time on the internet and also in the real world in the future. All of your A clones are stored as NFTs. You guys are very familiar with NFTs. So if you want to sell your A clones, you want to sell your bots, you'll be able to sell them to other users in the ecosystem as well. You'll also have a universal metaverse avatar that'll work across multiple worlds in the metaverse. And lastly, you'll be able to automate tasks in the metaverse as well. So it's very important uh, that we make money in the metaverse too. So AFID is uh, very cognizant of that. And lastly, you'll be able to store multiple cryptocurrency wallets, uh, Solana wallets, Avion wallets. Uh, all the ones that we, we support will be uh, compatible for your AFID account. And with that said, uh, thank you guys for your time. Very much appreciate it. Uh, my name is Brandon Cooper, CEO and co-founder of AFID again, and have a good one. Bye.